and hello everybody and uh, welcome to Freedom Fighter. Uh, we are at Keighley today, we're in Keighley today and this is West Yorkshire Police, um, Keighley Police Station which comes under the Bradford uh, district of uh, West Yorkshire Police. For D Riding Avenue, Keithley BD21 for BY. This one as well, like Watchdale, has got it as a being done for it is also child grooming sex place. Police investigate 180 new child sex cases in grooming. As I said, and this was December 2015, which we've said before you've mentioned the need basically. And as I said, keep the child sex abuse ring. December 2015. Said it's well, as I said, this is very, very, very bad uh, with uh, grooming. Um, to be totally honest, guys, um, police apparently uh, got a email uh, by Gordon Brown, who was the um, Labour. Um, Prime Minister at the uh, time and he actually told all police forces uh, that not to investigate um, child uh, exploitation and uh, grooming gangs uh, and it went to all the uh, police forces. Um, funny or not, uh, the MP of Keithley, which I'll play of the recordings, actually stood up in the House of uh, Commons um, about the grooming gangs and exploitation gangs in uh, Keithley uh, because there wasn't being investigated. This isn't by any means a subject which I or I suspect any of us find easy to discuss. That's why the difficult conversations to have are always the most important and it is our duty for our constituents to have them. It is now more than 20 years since one of my predecessors, as the MP for Keithley, Anne Cryer, first raised her concerns about grooming gangs and child sexual exploitation within the Pakistani community within West Yorkshire. Anne did a good job and brought the issue to the forefront of conversation and did the right thing in raising it. Now, I have only been a member of this House for just over a year, and I have been taken back by the amount of correspondence which I have received on this issue. But I am afraid to say more than 20 years have gone by and nothing really has changed. Now, luckily, I am able to represent one of the best communities we have in this country, and equally, I am incredibly conscious of just how delicate this subject is. But it shouldn't be. My view is, unless we talk about this openly, we are failing. So let's call this problem out for what it is. Predominantly a small minority of largely Muslim men within West Yorkshire, including, I am sad to say, in Keighley, that have been sexually exploiting young children for far too long. And the Muslim community are quite rightly outraged at the entire community being branded with the same accusation and it is not fair, and it is deeply offensive. The consequences of not taking action are extremely serious, and it is my view that if we pander around the edges or we fail to talk openly about these challenges, we are failing both the victims and that Pakistani community. These victims, mainly young girls, are having their lives ruined at a young age by this vile and disgusting sexual abuse. In 2016, a group of 12 men who committed serious sexual offences against two girls in Keighley and Bradford were jailed for a collective 130 years. One of those girls was raped by five men in succession. 
And Madam Deputy Speaker, live cases are still working their way through the courts. Only in October last year, 21 men from Keighley and Bradford were arrested linked to offences alleged to have occurred against a young female between 21 and 2009. And I know the police are working on many other cases. So if we fail to address all of these interlinked social uh, societal issues, we run the real risk of failing our communities and making them suffer even more. And unfortunately, the worst of humanity will exploit it for their own gain. And this has happened, Madam Deputy Speaker. In 2005 general election, on the back of these very issues, the British National Party made my constituency of Keighley their number one target seat. It was a campaign that damaged race relations and caused huge upset and hurt. The people of Keighley quite rightly rejected the BNP's nonsense. But if we do not tackle this issue with urgency, we run the risk and that others will try and take advantage of it. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, these are difficult issues to tackle. But all of us in this House have to take responsibility to take action. Because if we don't, we have failed. And the consequences for our communities will be far too great. So I say to everyone across Keighley, I will represent you as best as I can. Well, that's not a new school, that's not. But what are the police actually paid for guys they're paid to investigate crime so why aren't they investigating crime it's wrong they're saying that there was a young girl uh, from Keithley that lost her virginity to grooming gangs and they apparently investigated um, the case because of DNA and things like that uh, from her clothing and body and things like that but you've got to think about this young girl lost her virginity to a grooming gang that's immoral she's been groomed into it yeah another one in an industrial estate as well yeah it's a big industrial estate guys There's so much misconduct within the police service but they seem to be getting away with it. If we did that crime, we'd be sent to jail. These members of West Yorkshire Police that have done loads of different misconduct crimes. There was a guy that was from the um, bikers unit of West Yorkshire Police that actually stole bikers uniforms and, and sold them on eBay. Yeah. But who's paying for, for that back then bikers outfits and then uniforms? Us, the taxpayers. Boots. Motorbiking boots. So it was on the way There's been reports as well with uh, West Yorkshire Police that people that have uh, suffered from domestic violence, police officers having sex with them, which is wrong, which is immoral, immoral as well. So why is it they're getting away with it? But if we did those kind of crimes, we'd be locked up and put in jail. Well, it's our day of house. Pl police station key for this. It makes you sick to the teeth that there's supposed to be a police force serving the public. Anyway, we'll have a quick uh, walk round it.
Can I say it's an industrial estate this one? It's an industrial estate this one, guys. Yeah. yeah. Walking up, Dad. It's a warm one today, guys. <coughs> but like I said, the police forces, no matter what county it is, no matter what area it is, they're committing misconducts and the police seem to be getting away with it. If it was us, we would be sent to jail. Well, this would be sent down for the crimes, but... Yeah. But there's too much of it. Too much of it. They're supposed to be serving the public. That's what the police are supposed to be for. Serving the public. But there's too much too too much of it. It's a nice uh, newish type of building though. But this is what also is it happening is with a lot of police stations they're moving them out of city centers and town centers but if you're bad on your legs and you can't get afford a taxi or along those lines as as well how are you supposed to be able to get to these people to 19, these places it's a minutes walk out of town they're saying yeah they're but if you're bad on your legs Police officer, another police officer. You know these um, yellow phones that they tend to have outside police stations? I'll show you one, I'll show you one guys. But these yellow phones, they are supposed to be able to, you're supposed to be able to contact the police to investigate uh, crime. Uh, there's no, a number of you can press on it that's uh, supposed to be able to get through to 999. There's supposed to be a number on it that you get through to 101, but 9 out of 10, them phones don't actually work. Afternoon, officer. What's that? It's like uh, an ambulance um, station yeah, as well at the back, guys. I'll have a walk round, see, uh, have a look at the area for you guys. Is this car coming out? I think he has to wait for the gate. Yeah, it is an station. Yeah. Back of it. 
Yeah, let's go around these car stocks. Don't like to get red wedges. PlayStation and the station next door to each other. Yeah. yeah. I said we'd fall in industrial scrapes. I said the same's a 19 minutes walk from town. But if you're elderly or you're bad on your legs, you've got a disability. That's a long way. But well, it's it seems like a lot of the um, police stations are moving miles and miles out of town. It's it, but imagine you have an ear in, uh, impediment and you can't actually phone up. Got a police back there, guys. Yeah. Another one there as well. Yeah. <laughs> no. Not used to seeing them around, are we? Normally used to see it at the bottom. Yeah. Normal one. They have to... Um, when it comes to these gates, guys, you see the police officers are actually waiting. Um, modern, newish police stations now, they're having to stand by the gate and wait for the gates to actually close because... Um, if you are, are quite daft in a sense uh, and you accidentally walk into the gate and the gate closes on you the police can actually be done then um, and you can actually sue them um, so that's why they're tending to now um, wait uh, for the gates to actually close Um, there's uh, been um, in, di in the West York district as well there's been uh, antisocial behaviour um, committed on um, police cars as well uh, police cars are getting pain and all sorts of things um, actually uh, thrown on them um, believe it or not but just think about it guys we're paying for them police cars we're paying for that upkeep we're paying for the upkeep to these kinds of police stations as well it's not all about the problems within the police service that's what people don't understand you can you, there's a majority of cops are bad but there's a majority of cops as well that are quite good people that will go um out of the way to serve the public and do their actual roles but there's youngsters um as well that are going around and harassing um in a sense uh, the police even though um a police officer, in a sense, can't feel alarmed or distressed anymore um, under the uh, Act. Uh, but just imagine you're going out doing a job and keep youngsters are damaging your vehicle. And also got to think as well, guys, that that vehicle is a service vehicle for the public what I mean by that is that service vehicle could have a 999 call that it has to go out to. So you are taking that vehicle out of service, um, which is bad in a sense. Anyway, guys, uh, this is um, Keithley uh, Police Station, and uh, so that's sort out, out at the day. It's so at uh, a good uh, looking police station and quite some uh, nice police as well. Um, so I'll leave it there, guys. Well, that's all.
folks. That's my line. Stepify, babe. Let a star do this. That's mine! <laughs>